So you grew uh, hemp this year? Yes, we grew 5.2 acres. The variety was Lifter, uh, planted on I think the first week, first second week of June. Yeah, and so so how did it go? Um, it was definitely a learning experience from start to finish. Uh, the story had changed completely all the way from everything that we've learned. Uh, I guess from a production standpoint, uh, weed control is probably the largest uh, issue that we had that we had to interfere with as far as uh, just managing weeds, I guess, in a, in a timely fashion and how often, and we should have probably done a little bit better job with that. Mm -hmm. um, the variety, I mean, I guess hemp in general is, uh, I thought we were going to have more wind issues with breakage and, you know, staking up plants and stuff like that, and it's very durable. Plant. Do you think this will become like the third crop that farmers may start going or you might start going? With? Possibly. Uh, I would tell you that uh, when I went into this, I didn't realize it was going to be quite as labor intensive as what it was, and I learned that it is. And if they can find a way to mechanically harvest and do a better job uh, mechanically, or I've even heard that they've submitted, I think, 10 herbicide labels into the EPA to can help control weeds. As soon as you can industrialize and mechanicalize something, I think then that's when you're going to start seeing uh, the greater majority of the population starting to grow it. But I think the problem is once you start doing that, the profit potential is also going to come down. And uh, like anything, it's just not going to be quite as favorable to some, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, Is there anything else you wanted to add? Not really, other than if you wanted to plant hemp, I would do small acres first before you get big so that you can, you're going to work a lot of the bugs out of it and be better as you go, I guess is what I'd say.